Somewhere in the vast streets of Joshua Tree lies a quaint property with multiple top-notch short-term rentals. Welcome to the Castle House Estate, but more specifically, Guard Tower One. The entire estate is situated on 12 acres in the heart of Joshua Tree, with so many unique and modular options to up your stay, meaning you could book one of the 13 units that they have on the property. Some of these stays on Airbnb include six yurts, two container homes, two guard towers, three campsites, and two homes or you have the option to book the entire estate, all 13 sleeping arrangements, and that includes a 3,500 square foot nightclub, dining hall, or a roller rink for just $2,700 a night. Amenities at the Castle House Estate include a wood-burning sauna experience for $22, a movie theater set up for $30, popcorn included, and a loaded room service menu. Check out this menu, it speaks for itself. We ordered bottles of water last night at 10 p.m. and they came within five minutes. One thing to note about Guard Tower One is that there are actually no bathrooms inside or no running water. If you have to go to the bathroom or take a shower or just wash your hands, bathrooms are about 150 feet away in a little trailer. They're actually pretty nice. Just some good information to have. It's, it's definitely more of a glamping experience in Guard Tower One. And when you're in Joshua Tree, there are so many things to do. These are some of the things that we did while we were there. Again, you can pretty much do just about anything. Obviously, I highly recommend going to the National Park. It's kind of unlike anything I've ever seen in a desert scape with big boulders and Joshua trees and it's just one long road, super windy through the park and we did a little rock hike which was super fun. The second fun thing to do in Joshua Tree is Tortoise Rock Casino. It's a newer casino. I mean, first of all, if you're into gambling, I would highly recommend going. It's a brand new casino. It's also right at one of the entrances to Joshua Tree National Park. For breakfast, I got donuts from Jelly Donut. And I'm not just saying this, I thought it was one of the best donuts I've ever had. And yes, the looks are deceiving from the storefront, but trust me, they're very good. Crossroads Cafe has a huge selection of breakfast items, and Frontier Cafe is also another great place to go for breakfast. For lunch, either of those two cafes, or there are a ton of Mexican restaurants in Joshua Tree that we didn't even try. For dinner, we went to the Joshua Tree Saloon for one night, and that was super good. Big selection of burgers, and the burgers were super good. And then Sky High Pie has some of the best pizzas I've ever had. Again, great food in Joshua Tree, and ton of different restaurants to choose from. These were just the ones that we happened to go to while we were there. Now for the reason you all even clicked on this video in the first place. When you first check into Guard Tower One, they give you a code to the front gate. Once you enter, you drive between Guard Tower One on your right and Guard Tower Two on your left and then you pass by both towers, and then you take a left, and then there's a parking area, which is kind of nice because it kind of cleans up the entire estate so that there's not a bunch of cars randomly parked everywhere. Now it's kind of a far walk to lug all of your bags, so what we did was we just parked in the middle of the road, unloaded all of our stuff, and then went to go park. I also forgot to include that they have this super aesthetic cowboy tub plunge pool with a big deck around it. Okay, so when you first enter Guard Tower 1, you can either go straight up these stairs, or you can come straight in and sit here, here, or here. A few other things on the first floor include this basket with these super nice blankets, this walking stick with a built-in compass, and of course your QR code room service menu. And then tucked under the stairs is your mini fridge stocked with sparkling water and monster energy drinks. And then on top is your Nespresso with a drawer full of pods underneath. I made an espresso with this coffee machine and I highly recommend it. You can either 
take it upstairs or what I did was I just went and sat outside by the fire pit. And by the way, you can use this fire pit as long as you bring your own wood. You can just get a bundle at the gas station for like $5. You're not allowed to smoke inside as you can see here, but they do offer this nice little ashtray outside. So it's not that they don't encourage it if that's what you came to Joshua Tree to do. All right, let's head upstairs. And just so you know, there are no shoes allowed in the unit. So I'm not trying to plug my foot finder or anything like that. From a first glance, the stairway might seem kind of small, but it's actually like kind of the perfect size to not take up too much room downstairs. Once you're up the stairs, you get your bed, your split AC unit, and even comes with a TV that's fully functional. Yeah, there's not much more room for anything being that it's an awkward shape, but it's kind of perfect because you don't have to have the bed and the living area downstairs and it doesn't take up that entire space down there. So your bedroom's completely separated. And then to the right of the bed, there are those pipe railings again, which is actually a ladder to the top floor. So you get three floors in Bar Tower One. Um, and it's super cool going up to the top floor because they have this nice turf up here. You get this cool mechanical hatch that you climb up through. Kind of feels like you're going up into like a bunker or something. And then up on the floor, they did turf on the ground, which is a great move. And you get two lounge chairs up there, which is great for sun tanning if you want to if you want some privacy. And then also while you're up on the top floor, they have these cool little ridges in the top of the walls to make it look like a castle. Very cool look. This is like plaster, I believe, or smooth stucco. Not really sure what materials exactly that they used on Guard Tower 1, but yeah. Thank you for watching. I know that there are a ton of different options for Airbnbs in Joshua Tree. But consider staying at Guard Tower 1 or Castle House Estates and a yurt or our Tower 2 or one of the tiny homes. I will link Guard Tower 1's Airbnb in the description and if you like this video, like it, comment it. If you have any concerns, comment in the comments. I don't really know what they say, but, but yeah, thanks for watching.